Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is their true feelings for you right now? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And as some of you guys already know, I have started a new channel and I've uploaded the second video. Um, so the third video will be uploaded by Wednesday. If you guys are a fan of mysteries or unsolved crimes, you may want to check out that channel. All the information is in the description box below. I also have a link in the community tab. All right, so let's jump right in here. So we're going to cover what's currently going on with you and your love interest. How does that person feel about you? What are their true feelings for you? What do you need to know about the situation? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to this way? Hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's currently going on with the situation with Aries and Aries love interest? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So what's currently going on? We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Magician. Okay, we have the Judgment card. We have the Queen of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Devil card energy, the Two of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, it looks like there's some juggling going on. There's somebody here who's trying to discern what's gonna be the right decision for them. We see there's multiple butterflies here. So it's like there's someone's like, all right, I'm happy and I'm ready for some kind of change. I'm tired of this juggling. I need to make a choice. There's this passion, this chemistry, and somebody is avoiding something, eat of cups energy. So we see Aries that there's somebody here who is trapped in their thoughts and they keep going around in circles here. And they're not doing anything about that. But we see that there is a manifestation going on. Some of you guys are manifesting this person back to your life or they're manifesting you back in their life. It looks like there's a want to make some kind of apology on all levels or to reconcile here. Or something is gonna go in the favor of you because you have all the tools, you're an ideal partner. Even though there, there's this trapped energy here, and someone keeps going around in circles, I feel like you guys have more power than you realize. We see that there is this strong chemistry and passion and a lot of memories of the past with the Six of Cups energy. I'm just gonna clarify further before we go any further here. So let's get more information. You know what, let's use this deck. This is called the Super Awesome Deck. <laughs> All right, to get more clarity. What's going on with Aries' current situation with love connection? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so why is there this trapped thoughts? And eights have to do with a lot of, think, you know, effort and work. Okay, so we see romance. So it's like my hands are tied in this romance. Okay. The magician shows some kind of manifestation or some kind of happy surprise with a letter, message, or document with some kind of apology. Okay. And we see Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We see there's strong attraction, or you guys have a lot of options and choices, but we see there's something to do with memories of the past, something to do with the past, and, and a lot of the options here, it's like, I don't want what's being offered here. I have my thoughts on this one particular person that I truly love, that I want to give my heart to. And there's like this protective energy around the heart. For some of you guys, it looks like there may have been a breakup. And now we know that there's memories of the past and a realization of the memories of the past were happy. Okay. We have the devil card coming out as well. So we see that there is this obsessive energy. Okay. And we see this obsessive energy about, I need to make a choice. I've gone down this road before, but I, should I get off the beaten path? But on the same token, I'm at a loss about what to do. I lost something here, five of pentacles energy. It's like, I want some kind of wisdom here and I'm stuck in making this decision because I have love for them. You know, I want a relationship with them. They're my soulmate connection. You know, I feel like this person really has taken my heart. So we see this romance and this surprise about it in this text message letter, a document, in some kind of breakup, 
We see there's this happiness about the memories of the past and wisdom in the stuck energy, trying to make a wise decision. We're trying to be patient here, even though something is stuck here in this love connection, in the soulmate connection. Okay, so let's get a little bit more information. Let's use the gypsy. What's going on between Aries and Aries love connection, please? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. We see this want for loyalty. We see some kind of traveling, some movement, some change, or a long distance situation for some of you guys and wanting to heal the connection. We see a power move that somebody wants to make in a gift and wanting to give to a surprise, giving something as a surprise. We see a reunion or someone wants to reu reunite with someone else here and wants to receive something of value when it comes to a text message, a letter, or document. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and let's see how, Aries, how does your love interest feel about you? Let's find out. Okay, let's move this out of the way. Okay. How does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Aries love interest feel about Aries romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Wow, okay, so your person is really confused about what to do with the Seven of Cups energy. They're doing a lot of overanalyzing. They're letting their emotions get the best of them. This person really wants to heal the connection with you. They actually want to test the waters. They're looking for some kind of signs here. Your person, and yeah, there you go, the star card energy. Again, this person is trying to be hopeful. They may feel even spiritually connected to you guys, okay? Because we got these this angel here, okay? And then we're looking at the, the star card energy. They're trying not to lose hope. They are trying to be patient for things to come into balance because they're confused about what to do. So let's get a little bit more information. Then I'll use the other card deck as well. How does Aries love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. How does Aries love to feel about Aries romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. You know, also, Aries, the one thing I want to also point out to you guys, there's a lot of water in these cards. So this person is very, very emotional about the connection, okay? So they have strong feelings for you. That's what also they feel like here. Okay, so we see... This person wants to reach out and give you some kind of message. They are feeling very passionate about you. It's like they want to hold on to what, what's going on with their heart there. Uh, they're afraid something is going to slip from them. Um, they're trying to rise above this situation, but they are listening to their intuition. I feel like they're looking for signs, listening to their intuition, because they know there's a lot of growth here. So let's get more information. This person's trying to find direction. <laughs> Your person is trying to kiss and make up. <laughs> and this person has spent some time alone thinking about things. Okay. We see the cat lady coming out. Uh, we see there's this breakup and the sense of a surprise. Um, they're really focused on wanting some kind of abundance in their situation and wanting to be happy, a happy surprise. Maybe even wanting to help you out or give you money here, okay, and surprise you, okay, with a sense of happiness. Because we see the Page of Pentacles energy. Page of Pentacles could be talking about some kind of good news, something of value, right? Could be money, family, children, long-term commitment. We see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there's this breakup, an abundance of breakup here, and a passionate action or abrupt decision towards passions here or an action towards their passions. Uh, they want to send you some kind of love message here. Okay, and surprise you, all right. Let's go further. This person feels like they're at a loss here. Um, they want to make a power move towards you. They want some more control here with the Emperor card energy. 
They're concerned that whatever they offer you, you won't accept here with the Four of Cups energy. We see your person feels like there may be a lack of effort and they're wanting something stable with you with the house card, the house and family card. They want to bring things together, okay? They want to blend things together. We see your person's trying to find direction even though there was this breakup. There's concerns that there's going to be a lack of effort. They want to kiss and make up and they want an abundance. Uh, they want abundance. A lot, this abundance always means a lot of something, a lot of kissing and making up <laughs> towards house and family and something stable here. There's a sense of isolation or separation. They're hoping that they can get some kind of happy surprise here to bring things together or give a surprise to you or a gift to bring things together. Okay. Could be a gift of money for some of you guys. Okay. How does Aries love interest? The one they're here for. The one they're going to know about. How does Aries love interest feel about Aries romantically? Show me the cards I need you to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So they're going to be doing something very soon, guys. And because there's been some delays and challenges, okay? They're about to make an effort towards you, okay? They want to go out or there's concerns about you having some other options. Also, I saw that Queen of Wands energy, which can show that must have been you, Aries. They must feel like you have a lot of choices or options here, okay? We see there's this ex-partner, all right, or things of the past or karmic situation. They want to talk with you about this. They want to have a heart to heart conversation here. You make them very happy with the Ten of Cups energy. They want to bring things into balance with you towards a commitment, engagement, or marriage. Oh my God, Aries, this person wants to marry you. They want to make an effort to communicate <laughs> towards a commitment, engagement, or marriage. They know some delays and challenges because of a karmic or another person that they want to bring into balance. They're going to make a decision very soon. They want to spend some time with you and be very happy. We see at the bottom of the deck, they're trying to gain some kind of knowledge here. They are listening to their spiritual messages or they're listening or they feel you guys are spiritually connected. They want to heal the conflict with family and they're trying to be patient to see how things are going to play out here, but they're waiting for the right time. As you see, they're about to do something very soon. So what do you guys need to know that could help? What does Aries need to know that could help them better understand what's going on with their situation here with their love connection? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And I mean, you can see here, very soon they're going to make a decision, right? To be happy towards this, commit, this, this commitment to engage your marriage, to make the effort. There's delays and challenges because of people needing to bring into balance, but they're going to have a conversation with you about this. So what do you need to know? Don't lose hope. We see the hope card coming out. This person is thinking about you. There's thoughts, there's plans. Stay positive in your thoughts. There is love here. What did I say, guys? I felt that this person was very emotionally attached to you, that there was a lot of emotions at play here. We see that there is this friendship and this meeting, this intimate time, wanting to spend time together, and there's regrets about it. There's something to do with money and finance and a lot of thoughts and thinking here going on and somebody who wants to be of service. What did I say? I thought like some of you guys, there was something to do with money and finance here <laughs> and some kind of gift, okay? <laughs> and then we see it again about this money and finance situation and some kind of thoughts about, here, I want to help you out, like the Knight of uh, uh, Cups energy. We see things are going to move in your favor. You have luck on your side. There is this healing energy or somebody who wants to help with an obligation, all right, or to help with uh, possibly someone could be married here. We see uh, the, this is the wife card, but it could be man or female, man or woman, or masculine or feminine. So it's somebody who is obligated to do something. They feel obligated to do something. What's that about? There's a sense of pleasure here in a conversation and a lot of regret. So it's like a lot of looking back to the past and I feel bad about what's happened. And it's like looking at old memories of the past Okay. All right, my beautiful Aries, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Also, if you guys, again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.